Hey guys, it's LaToya. Welcome back. I did not die. I have not fallen off the wagon, XYZ, etc. And as you can see, I'm a little leaner, which is nice. <sighs> That's relaxed. Yeah, I'm not trying to give the false illusion that abs magically appear overnight because they do not, but I have been retaining my muscle, which has been important to me um, as I lose fat. So I've been focusing on, again, my meals, my macronutrients, micronutrients, tracking everything I eat, making sure I get in enough fiber, um, and just lifting heavy weights, doing the weight training, and I do minimal cardio, so I'm only doing cardio like three times a week. Um, I'm not spending hours and stuff on the treadmill to lose weight and such. So, here's a side view. That's relaxed. See, it's so nice, because before, my stomach was like, I can't even like mimic how big my stomach was because you saw it went like that like this is side view and it's there you go like my boobs and stomach are in line and pretty soon my stomach will be flatter but I'm not gonna suck it in because I don't want to do the fakeness there's the butt I mean it's definitely getting more rounded and higher but again I credit that to uh weight training not just you know running and losing weight because <clears throat> just weight loss itself is not going to sculpt your body. So I'm definitely happy that I am um, retaining muscle and uh, yeah, let me go ahead and pop on the scale for you guys. There's like 60, I think 64 days left into my journey is completed my healthy wager journey and my goal is at 152, but personally I want to be at like 145, 150. But that's like that last um, five pound range where my body is going to super resist and not want to lose anything. And again, as you can tell with my frame, I lose all of my weight from the top first, like my neck and my chin and my face and my arms and shoulders and boobs. And this is like the last to go. So like my abs have been trying to come in, but they're still kind of a... Uh, not resistant to me. So I started my journey at 182 point, was it point two? I think it was 182.2. And now let's see how much I weigh. Usually I sit the phone down and stuff for this. So I'm going to sit the phone down. So sorry, you guys. Oh, you probably see my phone. Oh. Here I am on the scale. 162.4. Now without clothes on. I weighed in at 162.2. I'm sorry, not without clothes, without, um, yeah, actually, <laughs> no, I was right. I actually take my clothes off to weigh myself. And if I have to go to like confirm my weight at a doctor's office, they're going to be pissed because I'm going to be like, can I put on that thin gown that weighs like nothing because I only want to weigh what I want. Like I didn't even put that much water in my hair this morning because I didn't want it to affect my weight kind of crazy anyways so um yeah just been staying on track working out five days a week at the gym if you guys follow my instagram i post my pictures of me going to the gym me not being motivated blah 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 whatever but uh now i think i hit a point where it's just like i have goals and a physique that i like want to obtain and it's a habit <clears throat> but it didn't really happen over like 20 days didn't happen over 21 days I'm not I'm doing like sustainable slow fat loss so that when my body fat hits the you know 19 percent it will stay there because I didn't like do crash diets um no special drinks none of that just increase the vegetables make sure I get enough fiber um playing around making creative meals and yeah that's it just all that yeah so here I am and uh yeah thanks for watching my journey and i'm going to go put that into my healthy wager bet because that's gonna throw me right on track where i should be and my birthday is in seven days so my goal for this week is to get to 160. um if it doesn't happen that's okay but it would be great if i hit 160 for my birthday uh which is also on christmas so i don't know there's just something like mentally that's like fantastic about being at 160 but hey hey 
I actually dropped 20 pounds. Hey, I didn't even notice that. And I noticed on camera. So you guys get to see my dokey face. Yeah, I, I, I'm 20 pounds down. Hey. Yay, go me. So actually today marks me being down from 182.2 to 162.4. But look at my Instagram. My weight was 162.2. So I'm at a 20 pound loss since uh, the end of August when I started this challenge. So way to go, Kelly. But I need these legs to start shaping up because like I have muscles and all that, but I just want to be more sleek. That's a good pose. So, um, goal is 160 for my birthday, which is Monday on Christmas. We will see if that happens. Uh, I am celebrating my birthday, however, on Saturday, so it's like two days before, so I don't know if I'm gonna like, you know, hit that goal then. But again, no crash diets, nothing super crazy. I just don't believe in all that. It's not healthy, personally, to me. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, yeah, thanks for following my journey. I noticed I had a few comments and stuff. I'm like, hey, that's pretty cool, because, you know, I'm doing it to hold myself accountable, and if I encourage other people along the way, that's awesome. And sorry if you saw my closet. I have a lot of clothes. Like, see, I have all these clothes to fit into. I can fit some of them, but like when I'm at my point, I can wear everything in my wardrobe. But there was once a point when I wore a size zero. I actually got rid of that stuff because I'm not going to wear a zero. I'm just not. Like I want muscle and I want to be healthy and tone and a zero is just not really in my plans. I just want to wear whatever is going to fit my body. So it's cold. I'm pretty much naked. I need to put on some clothes. Happy Monday. Go kick butt, you guys, and yay for a 20-pound weight loss. Woohoo! Yep. Yeah. Bye, you guys. See you next week.